Each year, more than 70,000 children go to the ER because of an accidental overdose involving medicine. One common reason? The everyday household spoon. The first problem with using household spoons is that they're not accurate. The second is parents often confuse using a teaspoon versus a tablespoon. They also confuse what's written on the label especially the abbreviations for teaspoon and tablespoon and which to use. And this can lead to an unintentional overdose of medication. Is the strep test back? In a new report, the American Academy of Pediatrics strongly recommends using only metric measurements, which are more precise. The American Academy of Pediatrics wants orally administered liquid medications to be only dosed using metric units and milliliters. Never should pediatricians prescribe medications using teaspoons or tablespoons. Hi, Luke. How are you? Dr. Paul acknowledges that giving small children medicine, right, especially infants, can weigh heavily on a parent's mind. Doing? Kristen Sampson agrees. Great. She's been giving her son, Luke, medicine yeah. since he was an infant. It was worrisome to be giving infants medicine, um, especially when the quantities were so small. You know, you're worrying about are they getting it all, are they getting the right amount? and to be able to know that the proper amount was in the syringe with the metric measurements and to deliver it all and know that it wasn't running down their faces or falling out of the spoon was gave me a lot of peace of mind. If parents are concerned that they don't understand their child's dose, they should call their pediatrician and ask about it, whether it's an over-the-counter or prescription medication. All done. And now, when Kristen gives her son Luke his medicine every night for his allergies, she knows he's getting the correct amount. This is Jack Trammell.